Thank you, Mr. Sari. Thank you very much, sir. I would like to now call upon Mr. Shimon Fedorovich, CEO of Sky of Ski Network, who will talk about a common communication standard based on blockchain case study of mass adoption. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome. Uh, okay, we can start. Okay, so hello, welcome everyone. Uh, we are Eski Network and we are going to present you our great blockchain of things solution, uh, how we create our platform from the concept to reality. So uh, my name is Marta Zarosa and I'm responsible for marketing. And my name is Shimon Fedorovich and I am CEO of Ski Network. Welcome. So uh, at the beginning we will show you a great video, hope you're going to like it. Okay. Imagine the world la, la, uh, which look like the, in this way, uh, where every device can communicate to each other. Uh, of course, there was too many challenges till now uh, before blockchain. The main challenge, it was that, that at, the, at this world there is a lack of universal communication standard between, between different solutions, I could say smart solution. Uh, between application, be, we have smart cars, smart homes, we have smart grids, everything is smart around us, but there is no way, at, in technical purpose, there is no how to do, uh, how to make it merge all these things in one hand. That's why we figure out how to use blockchain in this, in this purpose. All it started when I and my friends want to share a Ford Mustang. And I figure out how to, how to read out the keys from this car and replace these keys with blockchain based keys. It means most secure place for storing and managing your digital keys. We installed a special IoT device which gives us an, uh, access to this car. We connect this device directly to the blockchain and till now we can generate a blockchain based NFT tokens. In our case is a keys, blockchain based keys, and we can use ordinary crypto wallets to share this, this keys between friends. 
After, after this, we show this, uh, pre, uh, this implementation with Mercedes-Benz headquarters in Poland. simple solution. This car have a crypto wallet stick in the car. My wallet in my hand uh, is an ordinary crypto wallet and when I send a key, a transaction through the blockchain, this car will open. It's very simple and we figure out that this solution could also be used in any sh uh, sharing economy use cases, not only for the cars. Um. Then we wanted to create trust in our project. So basically, how to build the best trust. Uh, we engaged emergency services in Poland to build a dedicated solution. As you can see, we developed a free application with MAP and one, button, one click button to open and get access to the gated communities. We figure out how to connect gated communities and gated even elevators and doors and we give this app for the rescue teams uh, and from till, till now these rescue teams are using this application and they have access to ho all gated communities in one city. The first city when we implement this solution was Olsztyn, uh, is a middle sized city in Poland. Uh, so at the end of the day over one and a half million inhabitants in Poland have access to blockchain based technology that can save lives which is pretty amazing. Uh, so the solution is easy to adapt, uh, it's very uh, technologically easy. It provides easy and fast access to any space. So we knew already that we can implement it in any space and any city. And now we are cooperating with lots of city authorities to help them in implementing this technology around whole city in different area, not only for rescue teams, but uh, you can use this technology also for the delivery service, even trash removal, because there is lots of situation when sometimes you want to get us with fully anonymous way, but in control environment. That's why blockchain, fully decentralized access control, give us opportunity to do this. And now we are at the stage we are implementing in capital of Poland in Warsaw. Yeah. Uh, so in the future, uh, in the future it will also include parkings, public transport, couriers and delivery services which is pretty much the whole smart city space. Uh, we call it blockchain of things as it's something more than IoT, it's something more than Internet of Things, it's one communication standard which is blockchain of things. Uh, and what's more, ESKI network is the first network being implemented in the biggest cities with fully utility tokenomics. So people using this solution are also using our token, which is something great looking at crypto projects. You can imagine that ASCII token is a, some sort of license payment. And every IoT partner, smart solution partner, uh, if they want to generate unique NFT keys to their products, they need to pay uh, a fees for generating those keys with ASCII token. That means more partner, more IoT devices on the market. That means they will need more and more keys for the users. Uh, it's some sort of deflationary system of ASCII uh, token. 
and our success uh, is to involve so many IoT partners as possible, so many city, uh, city authorities as possible to spread this news that it's al already working solution. Yes, so the, the more partners we have in the network, the higher token evaluation is actually. Our main partner till today is Chaining. You already know this company. They are searching how to utilize their blockchain in the physical economy. And we, we create a gate to, to, those, uh, to those access control. Teltonica is the second largest tel uh, IoT producer in the world. Uh, they specialize uh, to produce IoT devices for automotive, automotive industry. Mostly these devices are based on GSM communication. That's why we have third partner Orange. Orange is one of the biggest telecommunication company and we already connect our ski network directly to the SIM cards. That means we want to simplify uh, this process how to activate your device in the ski network. And more and more partners is going on. We will reveal new partners in this year. It will be something very huge. So why do projects grow? Uh, mostly because of the credibility in project, because of the recognition, and because of the development strategy. So we are here to present you the development strategy that we have. And uh, the plans for futures are implementing new cities. As I said before, we are strongly cooperate with city authorities to teach them of, about new possibilities that this SK network could deliver to the inhabitants. That's why we want to move from Poland to whole Europe, to the Middle East, to the Asia. And that's why we are here also to talk with local people, lo local government, to talk lo local developer, um, because at this stage, Main, our main role is to teach people about these possibilities because it's open source, it's available for everyone but nobody knows till now how to use it and what, the, what value this solution could bring to the users and inhabitants of cities. And the main, the main announcement uh, today is that we start ASCII Challenge uh, with $1 million prize pool for startups, companies, and projects that have idea how to use this access control ecosystem to their solution. Sometimes there will be uh, a new idea with sharing economy space. Sometimes you, uh, you have already existing products, smart products, that you can implement this technology and participate with this big ecosystem. And from now on, we will start uh, uh, talking about these possibilities. We will, ch uh, we will choose, I think, a bunch of few, uh, few, few uh, startups that we will promote these startups. We will give, uh, give them uh, our technology, our support. And at the end, we are starting being an ecosystem. That means we will help also them raising a funds and maybe uh, sell their utility token as well. And that's it. Yeah. Thank you very much. If you are interested to talk more in deep, please invite to our stand. We can easily talk about possibilities. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much.